second episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. Uh, last time we left off with this thing happening right before us. Like we heard some details about Rachel's kind of family environment, Rachel's kind of rebelling. Um, we have someone that's watching him too, the lady that they saw at a park who was making out with Rachel's dad. Oh, oh. Um, and we've still got Chloe who is still feeling the effects of having not Max is not being around and still have lost her father and and coming into realizing perhaps her sexuality and all that kind of stuff. Teenagers find so much fun. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're kind of here with a burning tree and I'm not sure where it's going to go. If you haven't seen the Life is Strange game before, I have linked down below the entire Life is Strange game number one for you, the playlist of me playing through it. This, remember, is set before the events in Life is Strange, before the storm actually occurs. Um, and yeah, so this kind of, yeah, I, if you haven't seen the first one, hopefully this doesn't spoil it for you. It won't, but it might, like, my comments might spoil it. <laughs> A little bit. My bad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're ready to play our second episode and let's get straight in there. Please um, don't forget to give the video a like if you're enjoying the series. It always helps out and keeps me um, in the know that you guys are having a good time with me. Yeah. <laughs> Usually they do like a previous thing as well, but I just want to do one myself. I have also changed the where where I'm displayed, so Previously, let me know in the comments. Life is strange before the storm. Where I am now, or where I, I was before. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. Mom. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. But Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. Oopsie! <gasps> oh, that what if that scream was her powers manifesting? <gasps> I really want to say things, but it might spoil the, the game for other people, and I don't want to. <laughs> uh oh. Trespassing to you. Oh dear. Damn it, I didn't read fast enough. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there's Joyce. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. Oh dear. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then just sorry. Uh -oh. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Whoops. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Yes, yes, dear. Are yes. you paying attention to me, Chloe? Hell what? no. Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was broken. Do you recall what that was? Uh... It's gonna be this one. Uh, 
Don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. Uh, technically she didn't start the fire. We did. In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed Expulsion. that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Disregarding posted signs about trespassing on the stage. Implications of possible drug-related activities. What does that mean? Yes, what does that mean? It means Miss Price has developed a reputation as a user of marijuana. And I would strongly recommend you take a careful look through her room at home. Oh dear. Shall I continue? Attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students. Oh my god, she's Victoria gonna get the blame. Victoria Chase. Oh, wait, what? Oh, are you serious? Oh, come on! She cheated! Academic goals like doing her own homework? Because I thought Blackwell had a zero tolerance policy on plagiarism. Excellent suggestion. Stricter punishment for students who violate Blackwell's code of conduct is next on our agenda. Ah, oh, mother biscuit. Now hold on. Why is Chloe being punished for someone else's plagiarism? The infraction involved both students. Victoria will be reprimanded as well. Yeah, I bet. For her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Might have. If Mr. Prescott Nathan Prescott hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf. Oh my and god. And we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. <sighs> oh, come on. They're just giving me the shit. Hell I, was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Good work, Mom. Maybe you Good should work. be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled Because he's the sports person. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Oh, this makes me mad. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. Uh-oh. You're what does that mean? It means... Yep. You yep. forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was... Rachel, you bloody I champion. Steam and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this, but I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me, but only to keep me safe. <laughs> I'm just sorry you got caught sorry. up in it, Chloe, that you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Uh, for what? For what? You didn't do anything. Your willingness to stand by me. Oh now, my god. <laughs> so full of fire. shit. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally oh not god. true. She really is an amazing <laughs> Miss Price. Uh, 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 uh. 
Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Don't talk to me, Dad, Ray. or I'll punch your nuts in. Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Coerce her? I'm just trying Ooh, to get to I the mean? bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Uh, uh, I'm gonna enjoy this show. You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. You're After the one everything we up. She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. <laughs> Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price. I appreciate your position, <laughs> but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I really is an ass, isn't he? There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Uh... Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's <gasps> performance of The Tempest. Oopsie. No. <sighs> what? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending. Oh, come Price. on! Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's Ooh, office. Please don't, don't tell start, me mate. how to run Ooh, my school. Oh, you're walking on fine ice, mate. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances. God Accidental damn it. and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy, Victoria Chase. Of course. How fitting. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is what such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Uh -oh. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Shut up your ass, mate. Oh, biscuit face. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to get kicked out. I'm going to get kicked out, aren't I? I'm going to take the blame. Fuck this shit. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Listen to your opponent and choose the related outcome. Okay, okay. So this is where we're going to be. This is like Chloe's superpower. You watch me screw this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was Little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Um. Uh. This one. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little red riding hood. Welcome to grandmother's house. 
bitch. Chloe, <gasps> oh, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Um. Fine. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus Oh my security. god. <gasps> this must be very embarrassing for you. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the Yes! Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year. With a chance for reinstatement in the fall. No reinstatement. And now? You are expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. Okay, so that's how I get kicked out of school. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. Well, we couldn't let Rachel suffer. It was going to turn shit anyway. It would have been down the line when I fucked things up anyway. Yeah, I just swore. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom's gonna be pissed though. Mom's gonna be Mom, so pissed. I'll I'm... see you in the parking lot. Oh. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? Fuck them. Bunch of fascists. I like Skip. He's really cool. Hey, uh... Just wanted to say... Although I did just kind of shit on his job. what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. <laughs> I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Oh, God. <gasps> Doodle? I had big plans for adding I like the collage. doodling. The doodling's always fun. Oh, well. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Ouch. Moral, Moral of the story. story, no one's ever really rescued. Uh, uh, <laughs> That'll make more sense if you've seen the first game. <laughs> bongo. Bongo. Bingo bang or bongo. Sorry. I'm being silly. Don't close it. I'm not finished. Use right. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Hey, that's cool. Yes, we are totally signing it. How do you do that with that being on that side? That's so awkward. <laughs> Wait, who's having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things about this place. Chemistry book? Uh... Hmm. If Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100... <laughs> uh, maths doesn't suck, by the way. People give maths a lot of shit, but I enjoyed maths. Uh, 
What's that? Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, so it's more effort. right before oh, saying how I'm wasting more it all. Effort in class, the quality of your work simply doesn't speak to the amount of potential I see in you. I know you're better than this. Oh, oh, I think that's the teacher in the first game. Um, oh, that's really friendly with everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we probably should just trash it though, because honestly. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pets. You've served me well. Am I not taking it with me? My! I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with... <laughs> Imagery? Like a burning fire? Absolutely. Positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. As if you can't read the word metal. I mean, come on. How am I? Oh. Finally. What I actually came here for. Oh. Hell, man. You hide things in there? Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Damn it! Let's, let's, because we can't read that, guys. We have to use this. <gasps> Hey yo, had to borrow your stash just for times, you know. I promise I'll get it back to you next week, Justin. I ain't gonna be there, mate. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will okay, you? Okay, get to tag the bathroom, yeah? <laughs> no! No one asked me for dances because I only know how to flail. I always sit like I'm drowning, dead arms around him. I'd rather stand still, hold tightly to the walls, no care. Maybe the bathroom where it all begins in the first game. <laughs> Like that's that's a whole lot of <gasps> that's so cool. <laughs> that was Victoria. Oh God. That looks so cool. Fairly certain there were similar markings in the, the bathroom. Not all the same, but similar. Oh shit, David's here. Ah, crap. Crapola. Bye, Skip! Bye! Later, Skip. Later.
Later, skater. Oh, shit. <laughs>